All right, welcome to another episode of, holy shit. All right, welcome to another episode of Cooking with Gare Bear. I'm really just gonna show you guys like a simple carnivore breakfast idea that I saw on the internet. So we got the bacon, ground beef, eggs, butter. Cast iron pans heating up. I'm like, I'm being super Asian here and I'm using chopsticks, but, but bacon's on. Bacon, bacon, oh my god. All right, bacon's just about done. Just gonna take these guys off. We'll go butter on. All right, ground beef. Uh, in. Yeah, let's mix that around a little bit. Ground beef looking good, kind of letting that do its thing. Add a bit of pepper in here. Add some salt. Lots of salt. Give this a little stir. Brown beef looks about good to me. Now we're gonna add some eggs. Add in. Oh, it kind of looks like a smiley face, if I actually readjust this a little bit. Oh god. Is this gonna work? I don't know if this is gonna work. I'm gonna move this one over. There we go. Okay. I like that. Yeah, okay, alright, alright. Let's just stop fucking around now. Alright. I don't actually have an appropriate cover, but I'm just gonna cover this and let the eggs cook a little bit. All right, this is looking pretty good to me, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put this in a bowl now. And lastly, I'm just gonna top it with some cheese, because I can. All right, and here's our little mixture of ground beef, egg, bacon, and cheese. And I made coffee. Cheers. It's not a bad life being carnivore. I just eat a shit ton of fats, a shit ton of meats. I somehow manage to still stay lean and build muscle. Like, I don't know, man. This is just like a win-win on all cases, in my opinion. I really wish I had some hot sauce right now. Like some Tabasco or Cholula, like that would be perfect. But unfortunately, I don't have anything. So it's currently Friday. It is Big Saturday tomorrow. Looking forward to that. It's going to be a heavy Big Saturday. I have a lot of heavy singles and waves off those heavy singles. So it should be pretty interesting, like... Snatch and Clean and Jerk, I think, are both programmed the same. I mean, let me actually check. Okay, so yeah, so both Snatch and Clean and Jerk are the same. So work up to a heavy single, uh, do a wave, 90%, 95% of that heavy single, work up to another heavy single, take 90, 95% of that, and then work up to a third heavy single. So it'll be fun. Um, I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to try vlogging at Iron Warehouse, so the home gym. I feel like one of the challenges I have with this whole vlogging thing is um, I want to vlog... Myself, I also want to vlog other people, but then at the same time, I also want to stay in the zone of my own workout. So I was trying to find that balance of like, I want to be in my zone, I want to be focused in on the workout, but then I also need, I also want to showcase and show and film a bunch of other people. Assuming they even want to be in the vlog, you know, I don't, I don't even know. But it's something that I need to figure out and it's something that I'm going to, I'm sure will come together with time. But tomorrow I think will be the first vlog at Iron Warehouse, so looking forward to that. I'll see you guys tomorrow completely fucked up today and I got to the gym and I had my camera and I was about to record and I forgot my fucking sim card so I recorded the workout on my phone um, I didn't record anyone else because I'm still overcoming that hurdle and I'm just gonna voice over everything so yeah let's just go right into it all right guys so I'm just starting off with my first snatch heavy single uh, the format's a little bit different because this one was a portrait but everything else will be in the the horizontal one um, but I thought this it would be important to show this one because warming up I felt pretty good But you'll see when I do this snatch my shoulder buckles a bit This is something that literally just started today in this training session My wrist has been hurting this week So I think that's contributing to the lack of overhead stability uh, But I decided to play it safe and I decided to just take my first wave here So I dropped down to 63 which is 90% of 70 So as you can see the lift goes pretty well um, 
Still not feeling super confident in the catch, but I go up to 66, I believe. So I made 66, but I just remember feeling like something was just off, like something just wasn't clicking. I remember feeling a little bit disappointed because I really wanted to hit 80 plus today, uh, but it looked like that wasn't going to happen. So I retake 70 for the second time. It was much better than my first attempt, so I decided to go up to 73 as a new heavy single in the wave. I missed 73 behind. Uh, I believe it was definitely makeable, so I took it again as a second attempt. Made the second attempt, but you see that I'm fighting a bit to stabilize the weight overhead. I uh, decided this was a good new heavy single to work my third wave off of, so I dropped back down here. Yeah, rewatching that, that might have been my best snatch of the session. I go up to 70 for the third time in this wave. This was probably my best attempt at 70, but I'm still like a little shaky in the overhead position. I believe I go up, go back up to 73. Yeah, so here's 73, and uh, I ended up missing this behind me, and I, re I remember just making the executive's decision like I should just move on. I didn't want to spend all day snatching, and I wanted to save some energy for the cleaning jerks. I've been really enjoying doing pulls before as kind of a primer for my lift, so I think about doing a, a clean pull and then a copy that drive into the clean, and that's been working really well for me as of late. Yeah, so you'll see here, clean pull plus clean, and then just right into the jerk. In recent times, my jerk has probably been my best lift out of the three. I'm waiting for that day where literally both my cleans and my jerks click together, but right now it seems like I'll either have one day where the cleans click and but the jerk does it, or vice versa, the jerk will click, and, but the cleans don't. I decided to drop the clean pull here and just go for the straight clean and jerk just to save that little bit of energy. My jerks are just super locked in today. You see, I have a little bit of a reaction at the end there. I remember my catch and the clean feeling a bit off. I felt like I was like collapsing a little bit, which is again, unusual for me. I decided to jump to 85, which is a weight where Depending on how I'm feeling, sometimes I'll just go from 80 to 90. But if I'm feeling a little bit off, I'll actually go 80, 85, and then 90. So I take 85 here. Yeah, and that jerk is just locked in, so I'll go up to 90 here. Again, you see a little bit of a reaction here. I remember being a little bit disappointed because things weren't feeling as good as they normally do, but you take what you can get. You never really know how you're going to perform on any given day. And that jerk was just automatic. So I remember thinking... I have two waves to go through, so let me play it a little bit conservative. Let me take 90 as my first heavy single, and let me wave off that, and let me try to build to a new second heavy single. So I smoke 80 pretty easily, so I go up to 85 here. So you'll see at this point I really start gaining some rhythm and momentum. Uh, the clean is a lot faster, I'm a lot faster in the stand. I got a little bit too excited in the jerk because the clean felt so good, so I sent that a little bit too far back, but I go up anyway. Okay, so we're back up at 90 for my second attempt here. And you'll see, I'm just so much more confident in the clean and the pull. Things just feel a whole hell of a lot better. And the jerk is just automatic. So I go up to a new heavy single and we go up to 95 here. I really enjoyed the waves because I felt like I got a chance to regroove my technique. More so in the clean and jerk than in the snatch. But you'll see, I smoke 95 here pretty easily, pretty comfortably. So my game plan from this point on was just to take 95 as my new heavy single, uh, drop back down and just work back up to something heavy, as heavy as I could go for today. So you'll see I took 90 here. I took 85 before this, but I was so in the zone that I forgot to record, which happens. I took 90, it was pretty comfortable. I'm super locked in at this point. And the jerk is just automatic as usual. This was one of those days where I felt like if I made the clean, I could make any jerk possible, which is a good feeling to have, but you gotta make the clean first. So here's my second shot at 95, and I think this looks a whole hell of a lot better than my first shot at 95. Uh, my main cues for myself today was really pushing vertically through the floor. You'll hear everyone say this, but I feel like I still kind of struggle doing that. I think it's undoing a lot of powerlifting habits where I like to hip thrust the bar forward. Uh, and I'm still learning how to push vertically through the ground instead. Alright, so here's 100. Moves pretty well in my opinion. And I believe the jerk, as usual, just automatic. So this was the point where I could have just stopped here at 100. But I decided, you know what, fuck it. Let me go up to 105. I didn't really have the best snatch session, so I wanted to make up for it in the clean and jerk. And I want to really nail 105 because it's what I'm planning on opening with at the meet. So here's 105, and honestly, I think this is probably the best clean I've ever done at 105, so I'm pretty proud of myself here. 
And this is definitely the best jerk I've ever done at 105. Right. I hope you guys enjoyed that voiceover format. I actually thought that was pretty cool how I got to go into like what I was thinking and like how I was feeling and stuff like that. So let me know if you guys actually enjoyed that and maybe maybe I'll do more of that style of video content. But yeah, anyways, that was my big Saturday at Iron Warehouse. Uh, hopefully I won't fuck up next time and I actually remember to bring the SIM card. We'll see. No promises though, but yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Obligatory like, comment, subscribe. You don't have to, but it'd be nice if you do, but you definitely don't have to. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Alright, peace.